It's going to drop down an elemental totem a little bit further back, so it's not going to immediately be in this fight. Hopefully it can do some damage. And then I'm going to summon uh, Incarnate. Drop Farsight on it. There we go. Oh, okay. Well, this is not going to be great. Kind of got this idea of using the rain scroll, though, to try and force this water up the stairs. But I'll oh, no, actually, that would, that would hit Solora. Never mind. Okay, well, I'm ending my turn here, then, I guess. Battle stop would clear a path through all of this for us. Yeah, you're right. What is your A? Uh, 40% resistance. It's not great. It's not great for us. Also, morning, Leafin. Morning, Leafin. Can I actually see anything? No. Can I hit anything? No. Alright. Right, I'm going to move it closer, and it's just going to end its turn, and it'll have a little, a few more points in a bit. Oh, really? I disapprove on such an enormous level. It shocked us. Yeah. That was annoying. It was a possibility. Okay, so I can do a battle stomp if you want me to try and clear some kind of path. Oh, thank you so much, Pikmin, for that cheer there. That was incredibly kind of you. Thank you. I could make it a path up to the stairs, but then I can't clear the stairs. Uh, don't go... F yeah, yeah. Just go back to the stairs. It's fine. Just use something that'll clear the, the water on the ground. Where, what, you want me to, to clear the water on the ground and go backwards? Yeah, draw them out, because they don't have to move over the... the I, basically, we okay. want them to have to so keep moving can, through this. There you yeah. go, there's a clear path. Now, back. if you can get back, you're going to re reduce any chance of them smacking you. I could go all the way back to the staircase behind mm -hmm. that. It's absolutely fine. You're going to draw them through a lot of damage. Now, he might be able to teleport. Ouch. Hurts a bit. Oh, no. Yeah, that sucks. Armor of Frost. Hail Strike. Oh, my goodness. That's so... Okay. Ouchy. The cat is not going to die, hopefully. I am a bit shocked. Mm -hmm. It's electrified steam, but should be able to withdraw. At least two APs worth. I'm going to move through the water while I go. Who knows? It might stop the burn. How long am I burning for? Two turns. Without any magical armory, though, is a problem. I can fortify you next time I have a turn. Okay, yeah, that would be good. And that would take that off you, and it mm -hmm. would give you some extra physical armor. Can't hit anything right now. I should have teleported one of the mages over. All right. All right, let's not do that then. Can I see you to teleport you? I can't yet. So let's go the rest of my AP all the way over there. Can I see you now? Target is out of sight. You really, though? Can I see your toe? Yeah, target is still out of sight. Okay. But... If I get up there, I may be able to... Take a shot. I'm just going to inch forward with my 1 AP for now. Mm -hmm. See if I can't find a spot. No, that actually takes me further away. Let's go closer then. Gotcha. I'm going to drop him next ah. to you, if that's alright. Absolutely fine. My pleasure. Oh, I hit you a little bit. Sorry about that. Okay. 
Took a little bit of burning damage, but I should be okay, generally speaking. Eagle Eye will hit someone. Oh, it went yeah. to your... Uh... Nice. Okay, so do you want me to fortify you, or are you okay? Uh, I'm taking 67 fire damage. It's two turns. Uh, I should be okay. It would only be one point. Huh? It would only be one point to fortify you. Oh, um, actually, go on. Then. But yeah, I, I, uh, thanks for the advice there, chair. I should have summoned my incarnate next to someone. Uh, the problem is, if I put it too close to too many people and I don't present another target, they'll all focus it, which was the problem that I was worried about. But I should have tried and put it up on the Aeromancer. For now, it's going to be a bit of a tricky one. Oh, that's we'll his see. physical armor down. I okay, well, I can chicken round. him on the next turn then. Oh, do you want to? Do you want me to knock him down now? Yeah, or by all means, because it stops him from being able to do anything. He's going to take a turn next, isn't he? Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay. Bye. Nice. Okay, and end my turn. Okay. Now then, let's get you out of that poison as fast as I can, and away from the others who can attack you. Now, I'm not going to do much damage to him, unfortunately, because it is the element that he's safe from. Mm -hmm. uh, but I'll do my best. It's probably going to be absorbed by his armor, but... Okay, well, actually, it didn't good, do too bad. did good damage to his magical armor, at least. Yeah. So the pyro is on his way down. Now, having to deal with all three of these at the same time is going to be rough. Yeah. Like, stupendously rough, but we'll see what we can do. I'm going to drop a surface at his feet. Okay, frozen. Uh, that's not terrible, I guess. Uh, the final bit will be to chicken him. There we go. Morning, Trasher. Lots of people waking up at the moment, popping into the stream. <laughs> But yeah, in regards to um, backseating, the backseat gaming tag is on, so by all means, help me out with mechanics and that sort of stuff. Um, but the no spoilers tag is also active, so don't spoil any of the storyline. That's all we ask. But there you are. You may be able to do quite a lot of damage to it from here. So I think I probably can. And heal yourself while you're doing it. That is my lot, I'm afraid. Okay. I'm going to have the Incarnate follow. It doesn't have quite enough AP to get all the way there, but it can get a decent amount. Yeah, it's better if we're sort of constantly withdrawing. Yeah. The cat's back up to full health again, which is great. Fantastic. Well, he may well be in a position to... Yeah. Ouch. Yep. That actually hurt a lot. I've got no magical armor to protect from all of this. Oh, yeah. Uh, okay. Well, first things first. I'm going to quaff a potion to get my magical armor up. Going to... New shields up. To get a little bit better. We'll drop a big fire totem behind. And then promptly going to. Well, I could try and just duck out of the way, really. Yeah, let's try and duck out of the way. Really? My totem missed? Wow. A little bit surprised by that. Ouch. Right. Well, he's no longer a chicken, but he's very low on health. Right. Okay. Should I just take him out so he's just. I would say so, yeah. If you stay there, you're going to take hits from the mages. Right now, they'll probably focus on my <gasps> totems. Perfect. Right. One down. Right. Okay. Still have two points to use. 
I would recommend staying out of view shields of the archer. Up. I could do shields up or I could move. I think the archer can probably see you. If you withdraw a little bit further, the archer can do nothing to you. Which means then only the mages, as they advance, are going to actually pose a threat. And one of them is much yeah. further ahead than the other. Are you going to be okay if I do that? <laughs> I don't know. But uh, it is tactically sound for you up. to withdraw. Ah, okay. Okay. I shall do that then. Yeah. The fire mages are having to come back down. May go for my fire totem. Probably won't because the fire totem won't... Yeah, didn't bother. Good, good, good. Now you're a problem. Cryomancer got no, no. Cryomancer's going for you. Interesting. Good, good, good. Very good. interesting. Super happy with that. Because I, ha I had the, the armor to take it. Mhm. Mm I'm straight up gonna withdraw. Because I want to make the archer waste its time. Yeah. Right now it will. From here, I can probably... Well, he's out of sight, unfortunately. Yeah, I pull back a little bit too far, a little bit too aggressively, it seems. Well, at the very least, I can drop a surface here, whatever it might be. A little bit more blood, okay. Now you're going to go for my totem, so that's fine. Oh, wow. That was unfortunate. Had like a, had like Ricochet. A, the arrow sort of thing, yeah. yeah. Okay. The archer is probably going to be out of luck for fighting us now, though. You earned this up. I appreciate all your positive content. Oh, thank you. That's really kind of you to say. It is way nice. Really, really appreciate that, Pikmin. That's very, very kind of you to say. Yeah, the archer is scary. Honestly, archers are dangerous in this game. Um. I'm not going to be able to do much to them unless I go forward. I would draw back even more because that archer is going to take a long time to get back to its position. Uh, but it, it, okay. it is up to you. Like, if you go in there now, the archer can start ricocheting. Yeah. You draw them forward. Yeah, they've got right. Right. they've got very low physical armor. Okay, and I can go back will have chicken up very, in very four back. turns. I don't think you need to go that far back. Do you have anything like like just? I don't know anything I've that can poison flask, which would be no good against these guys. I've got bouncing shield, but I need to be. Um, oh, throw your shield! At... I... Let me just see how far that goes. Oh, it has to be in sight. Okay. As long as you hug the wall to your left, the archer won't get line of sight on you. Thank you for the sub, Pikmin. I really, really do appreciate that, mate. Yeah, my bouncing shield would bounce off the two of them, which would be great, but they're out of sight at the moment for me. Rip trip. If I moved that that flask right now, I would explode, and so would Lady Sheila. You've got to think of the surfaces in this game. There's fire all over this place. A poison cloud would just explode, and then would keep exploding. I mean, okay, it's a great I want idea. To go but... Forward one AP worth. Do a, a bouncing shield on them, and then withdraw. Okay. I think you might just be lucky enough not to be in range of the uh, archer. Perfect. Beautiful. Very nice. And back. I could go back three APs worth, or I could go back one APs worth back to kind of where I was. I'd go back three, because if they are three. clever, they will destroy that vase, and then it will explode, and it will just keep exploding. Yeah, that's much better. I'm going to withdraw as well. And then I'm pretty much going to do exactly what I was just described. Can I catch one of you? 
Can I catch you? Yes, I can. Okay. I'm going to send you a friend. If that's all right. I would love a friend. Yep. And then you can chicken the quarry amount so once chicken comes back up. Yep. Now. In fact, they both they both uh, got the physical armor down. Yep. Which is that was good. the point of transferring him. He had such low yeah. armor, it would have taken him down. Yeah. Now. Nice. So I'm I will withdraw. be battle stomping you next turn then. So two points. I'm still on fire for two turns, which is a bit of a pain. I can quaff a potion. But what I really need to do is destroy that. It's a tricky one. Poison potion would help me a lot right now. Um, yeah, I've got to quaff the potion. Everything is back up in a moment. Being on top of that one does not help me. Draw a little bit further. Okay. Now that archer is way behind the group now. It's going to take it a long time yeah, to get back yeah, to us. Yeah, it got really separated. That was a really nice move doing that. Now you can start laying into that Pyromancer Guardian. And on my Best turn, I'm going to... Do. Shoot something at the empty vase, hopefully destroy it, so the cryomancer will have to move <laughs> through a fight. massive um, wall of flames to get to us. Nice. Very nice. Exceptionally good, actually. What are you going to do? Okay, kind of annoying, but I can live with it. Phase got 75 health though. It's kind of annoying. Um We never put nails in our shoes. You've got nails and we didn't put nails in our shoes. I got nails in mine. I don't have nails in mine. I gave you nails for it as well. I know. I need to do that after this battle or am I need to put nails in my shoes? I will definitely try. Okay, I really need that thing destroyed. So. No, it's gonna take me a million years to do it. It's a pain, but all right. We'll move off the ice. Can I move this? I can. Pop. Hopefully that will trigger the, oh, it isn't triggering it. That is so, so sad. So ultra sad, my lord. Okay, well, I'm just going to set you on fire, then. There you go. And then move up so that if you try and move away, you're going to take damage. The archer will be in the fight soon. Yeah. Yes, it's a really hard battle. Good luck. Oh, wow. Thank you so much for that massive bit bomb there, Pikmin. After all the DMCA stuff recently, I want to share this small gift with you. I just lost my job, but I got a small bonus for all my good work. Oh, you shouldn't be using your money after no. you've just been made redundant, mate. That doesn't make me feel happy at all. So I wanted to share it with you and Lady Sheila. I mean, <laughs> thank you so much. Thank you so much for, for wanting to do that, but um, shoot me a whisper. I, 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 I don't feel right taking money off someone who's just been made redundant. That, there's no way that that makes me feel good. Thank you, though, for, for thinking, too. That's incredibly kind of you. Thanks for being such positive people and grounding us with all your kindness. Please accept this gift so you keep doing what you do. I wouldn't do it if I'd not budgeted for it, Alec. <laughs> oh, that's such uh, such an awful, awfully tricky position I'm in now. <sighs> Thank you. If you're certain, you know, I, I'm not going to refuse a gift because that, that's rude in and of itself, but if you're absolutely certain, 
Thank you very, very much indeed. Oh dear, we're frozen. Um, for the gift, that was incredibly kind of you. Incredibly kind. <sighs> Damn it. Incarnate's down. Thankfully, these Burning two. Unfroze us. Yeah, I know, right? Oh, thank you very much for the raid there. That was very kind of you. Alas, did not have enough health for you to attack that out. Where do you want me to put you? Uh, you need to put me somewhere they couldn't reach me realistically, and that's going to be tricky. I mean, I don't know, really, on that one. I can put you from one stairs back to the ladder, and that's it. You could try. Or would I be better using my AP to try and fight them? I'm not going to last long, though. <sighs> I mean, you got a lot of health, but so do they. Mm -hmm. The Pyromancer Guardian might go down soon. I mean, this is this was a tricky fight, unfortunately. It didn't get the chance to get another chicken off, really. Um, okay, thank you. I'm going to come in after they've had their turn, so... Depends. If you've got anything that will knock the Cryomancer down whilst also being able to attack the Pyromancer, like, could you line up a battering ram? Where is the Pyromancer going? Uh, the Cryomancer and the Pyromancer are basically in line with each other, right. if you just move a little bit to the side. Depends. Yeah, I can do it. Okay. Thank you very much for getting me back up, anyway. If you can knock both of them down, then I will survive this turn. Oh, it turned back on. There we go. It just took a few turns for it to activate. Alright, first thing to do. Quaff a massive health pot. <laughs> that was such a good time for me. I was like, Second oh. thing to do. Cry a mounter. Okay. I'm going to have to move you a little bit further forward. Time. Yes. But it just took a couple of uh, turns, basically, for that to trigger again. Where's the cat, though? Where's the cat? That was right in the middle of, of the water for ages. Cat, I swear. Chat, I need you to find the cat. I cannot see the cat. Cat is in the middle of that. I will be so so incredibly frustrated. No, the black cat. You can see its little um, little golden Where? Little golden thing. This little golden um, thing. It's in the middle somewhere. I can't see it. It's got like a little golden um, pin on the map. Oh, okay. Well then. Where are you, cat? Where's Salora, anyway? Right next to us. Alright, Salora's fine. Yeah, I can see its map pin, but I can't see it. Very annoying. Should teleport destination? About there, please. It's getting a little bit of healing, but it's getting more death from there. Wow, that's happening out of combat turns. <laughs> that didn't go in our favor with Solora, but now. I don't like that, that some things just. Oh, damn it. I tried to time it, but alas. Oh, and now it's my turn. Summer steam. Yes, man. I well, no, it's a fire turbine. Not well. Either way, then. Oh, I found the cat. It's just at the top of the stairs. Okay. It's fine. It 
drop a quick save before the cat dies. Also, Laura goes into that, I think. Hi. Hi, I will drop a uh, new save, because we're in the middle of that. I don't want to get rid of the quick save that I did before it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Drop a new save. Um, we're in a good point in this fight. Yeah, it just completely took them out. That's fantastic. Okay, well, I'm going to drop a surface underneath that mage. It might be something good, it might be something bad. It's blood. It didn't really help us too much, but it doesn't matter. Just don't get pulled into that. I'll just, on my next turn, I'll knock out the mage and then I'll go backwards. It uh, looks like I am getting hurt. Well, just by the Oof. Right. I'm gonna pull Definite back to yes. force the guy through. It won't force so him right to the ladder. Uh, actually, that might force him. But if he has nothing to attack, I think they'll attack to Laura. Not sure on that one. Oh, it stopped. Oh, it only activated okay. for a single turn. <laughs> okay. Alright, I get it. Yeah, blood infusion, far sight infusion. Then spend some time doing some shields up and some stuff like that. I'm gonna drop just a wooden on how well totem. You manage to uh, bring down this guardian guy. I'm just gonna draw back. I see no reason to get into this fight. I think the eagle-eyed guardian might be a dwarf. Yeah. It is. My fellow brethren, undead dwarf. Turning on us. Like this. How wrong of them. I know. There you go. It's immune to bleeding, but I don't care. You're up. It is now just poison gas, by the way. Yeah, so that will heal me. But that was crazy cheesy. The way that that worked, because we were in combat time, but it was doing real time damage. Nice to see you both playing this. Husband and I are long distance and have been playing this since March to spend as much time together. I've since started Baldur's Gate 3. Oh, that's wonderful to hear, Sapphire. I hope you both enjoyed. Good morning, Chromorific. Yeah, if you get into that poison, that's basically healing. But make sure you do it with physical armor. Otherwise, it's going to be yeah. nasty. You know, it might take me a turn or two to get there then. So I'm going to do shields up for myself. Mm hmm. Unfortunately, my battering ram is down. Four AP, so I can get just just into this. Okay. Uh, that's what I'm gonna have to do, I think. I might have to take a couple of hits from them, but. Right. First and foremost. Can't do that yet. Forward. Drop a blood totem. A little bit of extra damage. Now they have no more defense. I'm going to shields up at this point. Take it, you've not got a chicken for them. I do, but I'd need them to be close. Yeah. I've got to get in, into range to attack them. Okay. Which I might be able to do. Though, honestly, if you can get over there, with, you can probably just finish them. There you go. Yeah. This 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 battle is over now. You can finish them off, I guess. 
Uh, no, apparently I can't. I'll try again. There we go. It's not going to do any real damage, but I only need to hit you them a little a bit, and then my totems will finish them off. Beautiful. Back, Quercus. Our shield has gone mad. Our shield speaks, Quercus. Prick up your phantom a ears. Brutal fight, really good. That was a brutal fight, yeah. That was legitimately hard. Hopefully some good 19 gold, really. Oh, poison Let's arrows, okay. Turn off quickly, yes. just in case the cats and stuff are going in it. Ooh. Oh, yes. Magical cap, plus one summoning. Three physical armor, nine magical armor. Oh, okay, I got nice will stuff. use this. Yep. Do you have a... a Nothing on the air, man. A hat? I have a hood that's six physical, one magic. What have you got? Ah, uh, yeah, this one isn't as good. Four physical, one magic. I just picked up a uh, new hat, though, that has... Wow, that's that's quite the hairdress, to be fair. Are we, are uh, life we, uh, essence. Earth essence, sorry. Yeah, emptied them all out. Cool. Right, I need to check something. Has that... Has my, uh... Um, how do I bring up my, my cat screen? There we go. Has that given me ten? No. It has only given me one, but my summons are now level nine. Which is pretty amazing. Right, okay, so we are going to want to poison any potions we got. Uh, there was something you told me to tell you to do, but I've forgotten what it was. Because I'm old. The nails in my shoes. That's right. Yeah, put nails in your shoes. This is correct. Get me. Let's get my boots off. Go and do some crafting. With these nails. Choose. There you go. Immunity to slipping. Ooh, that was that was genuinely a, a difficult fight. Well, right. Thank you for the bits. A okay. good fight. So if I sleep for eight hours and Avak is still streaming, he would still need to stream three more hours to hit his record. Ah, you're going to bed, are you? <laughs> so we can play. Well, I suppose so. We've been uh, been streaming for four hours and a half. So yeah, yeah, we would need to stream for for a fair bit. But Shilab, are you able to open the sarcophagi? I couldn't because I wasn't strong enough. But if if it's a strength thing, then yeah, that's what? your forte. This is my forte. Also, I'm going to use that for now. That's taken us a good bit to the next level. 28% to the next level, in fact. The Laura just ran up to that sarcophagus and disappeared. Uh, Nothing in the first one. Yep. Nothing in the second one. Well, that's actually incredibly annoying then. Oh, I wonder if you'd have been able to open those up. Whether we would have had to fight those creatures or not. That's oh, an right, interesting maybe. question. Nothing in the third, so maybe, there's something extra. Hmm, maybe they would have would have peaked out a bit sooner. And we could have Yeah, it might have taken yeah. yeah, it might have been able to fight them out of turn sort of thing. Where's the cat? There's the cat. It's still alive. Everyone's still alive. This is very good. Yes. Yes, Merlin Rafi Rafiki. I did. I did just do that. I'm glad someone realized. Head on up the ladder. Okay, that was actually pretty amazing. Right, let's actually have a look at our logs. Our journals. Hmm. Kinda wanna Go back and talk to Lord Withermore if we get can. Yeah. Are you up for that? Yeah, because if we go um, back if we, through if up just, that ladder, then we're basically by the cave, aren't we? Well, no, no. If you no, go okay. into that into that area, uh, back down into the dungeon, we can just go and use the teleporter. Oh, of course we can. Yeah, you're right. 
Not that we need to. We can just go straight up the ladder at the back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm on my way to Lord Withermore then. She loves on anyway. I only got little legs. That's true. You've got 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 uh, titchy feet. Have we really? Is this barrel been there the whole time and I haven't looked? Oh my lord! <laughs> How? The whole time. Oh my goodness! That's so funny. All right, let's go down to the cave. Okay. Also, I'm going to have a chat with Buddy on the way. The dog focuses at the cat okay. at your feet, baring its teeth and... Never mind, it doesn't like the cat, still. Well, let me talk to him. Oh, no, you... Oh, man. Of course I can't. The cat situation is going to be... Ooh. I wonder what we'll have when we go into that room with the... Uh... Oh, right. I don't think Emmy will like the cat, yeah. Ah, that'll be interesting. Ooh. Where's your collar? Well... I have no collar. I'm not I, a dog, I do so I do not wear one. Okay. Well. Okay, should be able to go and talk with Sir Withermore now. I hope. Oh. Uh, oh. I think he, I think he's gone. We're good. Let me chat with um. Let's chat with Moody. Yeah. Moody though. Oh. Oh no! Oh, we'll loot him. Oh well. I like that. Oh well, we'll loot him. Go ahead. Uh, plus one memory. That's the thing you you really need, isn't it? Uh yeah, generally. Seven physical armor plus one memory belt. Um. I'll probably keep mine. Okay. Because it's got well, plus two initiative. Yeah, I've, I've got one that's four physical armor, but, but plus two initiative, so it gives me an opportunity to go early in combat, which is really useful. No, oh, that is, yeah. Whereas mine is just straight up three yeah. physical armor, so this is completely an upgrade for me. Um, is that Since the clocks went action? back in the UK mm -hmm. and it's dark by 5 p.m., I've been exhausted and needing to sleep by 7 p.m. That's why I'm glad to catch a morning stream or well hire from. I got an entire extra memory slot from that belt. Lovely. There you go. All right then. If right, where are we going next then? Got the vault of Bracus Rex. Oh, we got a. Have we? To do. Well, we've got these ones with flags by them. We've got the Blacksmith's Collar Removal Service, She Lab. Ask the Blacksmith <laughs> to remove the source collar. <laughs> and then we've got to tell Magister Dolores' co conspirator that Madame Zor sent us. So those are the three like flagged ones. Okay. Well, I'm going to head back up, but I believe the. What's going on here? Why is there something shining above your head? Tell. But uh, I'm going to go and talk with the healer just outside the cave because I believe I may Dr. be able to Lest. pick up. Finally, uh, yeah. the book at this end. Didn't think I'd miss his grumbling and boasting, but spirit like that leaves a big oh. hole when it's snuffed out. Oh Rest my. They have upgraded massively the skill books they have. Kind of scoop the skill books, is it? That they've got? Uh, summoner. Uh, Aquament to Zero. I'm, I'm not going to be playing um, Stream Raiders while I'm streaming Divinity. Not during the Divinity streams, that is. I'll stream other games that where Stream Raiders will work a little bit better, but not during these. And thank you very much, Attack the Darkness, for the 14th month. The Ark of our mate. But there's Tentacle Lash. There's Spread Your Wings. It requires Polymorph level 2. Heart of Steel provides 16 physical armor. Your heart pumps liquid metal, creating a robust layer of physical armor. Restores physical armor each turn. Medusa Head, snake scar of your head, giving you a petrifying aura and the petrifying visage skill. Incompatible with bull horns. I don't have Polymorph 2, though. 
Hmm. I just off back into this cave. La, la, la. <laughs> I'm going to check if new things are showing up, yeah? Yep. Don't blame you. Uh, on that note, then, I'm going to go and see if there's any new summoner Ew, skills for me. Oh, dear. Rage. You Provoke. Okay. Sheila, you can take your time. You can grab whatever you want to grab. Because uh, I ran into a web match. <laughs> So I'm stuck in a in a conversation, but it's fine. He's probably going to be completely content to wait for me to reply. It's just going to take a very long time. Okay. But for your but for your int uh, for those who are interested, you there. What the devil are you doing without your collar? And with that, I'm going to step away for a few seconds. I will take a quick bio break. While Lady Shilab is purchasing some new Selling skills. Selling things so that she can get a whirlwind attack. <laughs> 